The reason I put this here is there's a show for Marvel called What If, where it changes certain choices that people make, which changes the entire course of that person's fate. And it reminded me of how one choice can change everything. Those decisions at 4.45 on a Friday, when you're thinking about your weekend, and then in that moment, somebody needs your help. Those are the decisions that separate the people that go above and beyond and create real change in people's lives. It's in the tough times. It's in the hard, it's in the hard choices. It's when we prioritize someone else's needs above your own. That's me happy because I thought I was going to change the world all by myself. And then this one is six months later. The reason I'm showing that to you is because change is not easy. Taking a step towards change is hard. Uh, committing to change is the hardest. Trying to change somebody else is freaking hard, right? It, oh my goodness. And in the end, whose responsibility is it to change? If it's their change, it's their change. If it's yours, it's yours. One of the, the quickest paths towards burnout and compassion fatigue is thinking you can change someone. Spoiler alert, you cannot. But what you can do is you can inspire someone to consider change. You can do the things that increase the probability that someone will consider a perspective other than their own. And one of the best ways to do that in all seriousness is empathy. Empathy truly is a superpower. And empathy is not feeling sorry for someone. Um, empathy is not just telling someone you understand how hard it is for them. Empathy is truly taking an active interest in how someone else sees the world. And taking that information in without bias, truly saying, what does the world look like from their perspective? Changing someone's mind is so hard. Oh my goodness, so hard. Because the thoughts and attitudes they have have been shaped over a long, 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 long time. The ones that haven't been shaped over a long time, they're going to be willing to change their mind with new information because they don't really have an emotional attachment to that a thought. Things we feel the strongest about, they've been shaped over a long, long time. So if your goal is actually to start planting seeds to shift that perspective, here's how you do it. Very first step, you invite their opinion. Remember, empathy has nothing to do with agreeing. So you can invite the opinion of an opinion that you adamantly disagree with ethically, but that has nothing to do with learning. If they say, I think the world is flat and you're an idiot if you think otherwise, you might say, you know what? I never considered that that was the case. Talk to me more about what led you to believe that. That would be inviting their opinion. If your goal is to change mind, that's the very first step. Then explore their answers using that little thing called am I again. Reflect, affirm, ask open-ended questions, allow them to have the steering wheel in that conversation. If you're driving and all of a sudden you drive the steering wheel from them, it causes chaos, it causes you to crash. It's the same thing in the empathetic conversation. If you grab the steering wheel for them, make the conversation about you, that process is going, is going to crash and burn. So allow them to talk through it, explore their answers. The number three is consider a personal story that connects to their opinion. Almost every single strong opinion you hold is connected to a very strong experience you had probably a long time ago. And what happens is we have this really powerful emotional experience that causes us to think a specific way. And then everything from there out, we look for stuff that'll confirm that thought. So if that's happened over a long period of time, by the time you get to actually talking through with somebody, you're, you might be so dug in to how you feel that it's going to be very hard to shift that perspective because you're going to believe it's so real because it feels so real. So the purpose of this is to just talk with them and see if there is a connection between what they feel and something that's happened to them. Because if they can verbalize that, they're going to be more likely to recognize that there's nuance because we all have different experiences. But the person talking about it has to come to that realization on their own. If you just say, don't you realize you're wrong? You only think that because of this. That'll actually cause them to dig even deeper. I'm sure you know people who there's certain topics where they feel so strongly about. And if you try to under, like unpack it a little bit, it really doesn't add up. It's probably because, again, there was a very real experience that still is connected with them emotionally to make to have them feel that way. The next thing is give them time to reconsider the conversation that you had with them. What I mean by that, if I feel strongly that dogs are the best animal in the world and there's nothing better than dogs, and your, your plan is to have a conversation with me and change my mind, 
It's not going to happen. What you are doing, though, is planting seeds. And what you're doing is you're allowing those seeds to plant and let me think on my own time of the gray area and the nuance associated with my opinion. After you do that, by now, my anxiety is going to be down. I'm going to be more likely to be open-minded. And once I'm more open-minded, now you can introduce new perspectives. And if you do it with following that path, I'm going to be more likely to consider it. All in all, hopefully some of these tips will help you out. If you have not subscribed to the Speak for MC YouTube channel, go do that. Tons of content. I'm uploading every single day. Tips, tools uh, that can help. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Like, comment. Yeah, you know I do. You know Repost. I do. Repost. I know you do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I appreciate yeah. that. I've been following you for a while. So thank you. Awesome. Awesome. All right, amazing people. Well, thank you. You're welcome. You are definitely, definitely welcome. I'll see you soon. Stay updated. I'll, I do one of these every other month. So just keep an eye on the website for when the next one comes up. Have <laughs> an amazing rest of your week, people.